Hi, my name is Tony Sint. I'm a fisheries specialist with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. Today we're out on the Minnesota River, which is a popular destination for anglers coming to catch trophy-sized flathead catfish and channel catfish, among many other fish species. Oftentimes, anglers enjoy catching and releasing large trophy-sized fish in hopes that the fish will survive and grow so it can be caught again in the future. So today I'm going to share several tips and demonstrate ways of handling and releasing large fish that maximize the likelihood of the fish surviving after it's released. These general tips apply for most large fish species such as muskies and lake sturgeon, but today we're going to focus on catfish since we're on the Minnesota River. All right, so the first tip for ensuring the healthy release of a large fish is landing the fish quickly with a rod, reel, and line adequate for the size fish being caught. And then of course having equipment ready for landing and releasing the fish, such as a large knotless or rubber landing net, a pliers for unhooking the fish, and of course a camera for capturing the memory. So the second and probably most important tip is minimizing the amount of time the fish is out of the water. Uh, ideally that would be less than 30 seconds. So landing the fish in a big net like this is great for holding the fish in the water while you remove the hook, get your pliers or camera ready, um, and ideally you could just remove the hook from the fish right here in the net and then the fish is ready to be released or, or taken out of the water for a picture. So a great way of measuring a fish without taking it out of the water is using a soft tape measure like this and measuring the fish in the net or alongside the boat. So the third step is protecting the fish's slime coat and you do that by always handling the fish with wet hands or wet gloves and keeping the fish off of dry surfaces such as the carpet at the bottom of your boat or the sand and mud on the riverbank. So the next tip is holding the large fish properly. With most large fish, you want to hold them horizontally, supporting the entire weight of the fish's body. So with catfish, you can usually use one hand to grip the lower or upper jaw, and then use the other hand and arm to support the weight of the fish's body, holding the fish horizontally. And then you can quickly release the fish back into the net or into the water. Gripping the lower jaw is a great way of holding smaller fish, such as bass, crappies, and even small catfish but holding larger and heavier fish by the lower jaw puts way too much stress on the fish's jaw and hanging large fish vertically stresses the muscles and connective tissues and compresses internal organs. If the fish doesn't swim away right away, you can hold the fish in the water to let it recover. Fish gills operate best when the water flows through the mouth over the gills, so you simply want to hold the fish with its mouth open into the current or move the fish in a gentle S shape, passing water through its mouth over its gills. And once it's ready, you can let it swim away. All right, so once you're holding the fish properly, you're ready for a quick picture, and then you can quickly release the fish relatively unharmed and ready to be caught again another day. Good luck. Hope you catch a fish of a lifetime soon.